What is up you guys, it's Trouse here from OG Tech Entertainment and today we're going to be taking a look at our assembly for a mini ITX build that one of our customers requested us to make for them. So let's get started right after this. The motherboard that we are using is a Z390 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi gaming motherboard. And this one is the mini ITX version, so we can fit this in our Inwin A1 case. This motherboard features an extended heatsink, HDMI 2.0, and a DisplayPort onboard, compatibility with RGB Fusion, and from its name, it has Wi-Fi capabilities. And on top of that, we're gonna slap a Core i7-8700 from Intel. Not much to say about it, except we use it for a lot of our builds, and it is very reliable. Now, we are going to be screwing in our backplate to the mini ITX motherboard. Right now, we already put our Samsung 970 EVO 250GB SSD inside the bay, and our in-house technician, Feji, screws in the plate above it, securing it in place. Moving on, we are putting in two 8GB RAM cards from Aorus, bringing the total up to 16 gigs of RAM. The reason why we put in the motherboard before the RAM cards was because the cards kept on getting snagged on the 24-pin connector. So we secured the motherboard and connected everything, then we put in the RAM. On top of the CPU, we added a little bit of thermal paste so we can connect the Silverstone TD03 RGB right on top. For the graphics card, it's a GeForce GTX 1070 Ti from Gigabyte. It's quite the tight fit, but don't worry, the N1 A1 case can take it. For additional storage, we have access to the back panel to screw in our crucial MX500 SSDs. We just screw it into the SSD bay and screw it on the back panel. We are doing this with two SSDs of a one terabyte each, totaling of two terabytes of additional storage. This build was for a customer who wanted something small for his condo, but wanted a beast of a machine to play his games with. And I believe we did just that with everything we put inside. I do want to add that after we presented this to our customer, he said he wanted to make it stand out a little bit more, so he requested we add in some RGB fans, which unfortunately we weren't able to get on recording, but you can see the Omega RGB fans right here. Every piece we put inside this build, except for the storage, features some kind of RGB. So if you wanted to make this thing light up like a Christmas tree, you could if you really wanted to. I would also like to take some time to tell you guys that if you want to have a custom PC built, don't forget to hit us up. We can discuss on what you would want your build to look like, your budget, what you want to have in your build, and we might feature it in another video. The N1 A1 is an amazing case that packs some serious punch regardless of its size. It has an acrylic base and built-in RGB lighting, which when paired together gives off the illusion that the case is floating. At the top of the PC, we have two audio inputs. One is for your audio out and the other one is for your microphone. We also have two USB 3.0 slots. And one thing that makes this quite unique is the glass panel which right under has a built-in wireless charger, which is very convenient and really goes to show that this product was very well thought out. That's it for this build. Don't forget to like and share our videos and subscribe to our page where we are holding a giveaway. Links will be in the description. I hope our customer is happy with the product. Again, I'm Trous from OG Tech. See you in the next video.